Nature is blessed with an abundance of resources that possess remarkable healing and medicinal powers. Throughout history, countless lifetimes have been devoted to the study of these natural remedies, from the forests of Asia to the Amazon, to learn the value of every plant. Thanks to this research, once obscure plants and herbs are now used to treat everything from common ailments to serious medical conditions and diseases. Today, doctors and scientists continue to uncover new natural remedies that can provide the same health benefits as prescribed medications without the dreaded side effects. The reishi mushroom is an excellent example of one of nature's plants whose miraculous, health-enhancing applications have been employed by oriental cultures for centuries, but have only been introduced to the Western world in the last 30 years. Reishi is a Basidiomycete lamellulus fungus belonging to the family of Polyporaceae. In nature, it grows in densely wooded mountains of high humidity and dim lighting. It is rarely found since it flourishes mainly on the dried trunks of dead plum, Guercus serrata, or Pisonia trees. Out of 10,000 such aged trees, perhaps two or three will have reishi growth. Therefore, it is very scarce indeed. The spores of reishi have such tough outer husks that germination is next to impossible, and this accounts for its rarity. It was said that in the old days when one discovered reishi, it had to be kept a secret even from one's closest relative, and there was big celebration upon fruitful return. The herbal history of reishi had long been documented in the oldest Chinese pharmacopoeia written in about the 1st or 2nd century BC. The original textbook of Oriental Medical Science, Shino Herbal Pharmacopoeia, documented 365 species of plants and classified them into three categories, superior, average, and fair. These classifications were based on two main criteria, the benefits of consumption on a continual basis and the risk of side effects from doing so. For those plant medicines graded as superior, the range of ailments they could treat were greater than those of weaker specimens, and they also possessed the additional feature of having little or no long-term side effects. Among the superior herbal medicines, reishi had the highest ranking in the classic medical text, even outperforming ginseng. In China, reishi has been called God's herb for over 2,000 years and its reputation for being effective in treating a wide range of ailments moved Chinese emperors throughout the various dynasties to order servants to search for wild reishi mushrooms found atop distant mountains, believing the consumption of reishi would grant them eternal youth and enhanced health. Because of these attributes, the use of reishi for medicinal purposes was reserved primarily for royalty and wealthy individuals until the late 20th century when cultivation of red reishi mushrooms by the Japanese made the once rare plant more widely available around the world. Although there are more than 2,000 known species of reishi, only six kinds have been shown to have significant health benefits. Red, black, blue, white, yellow, and purple reishi. Among which, red reishi has been proven to be most effective in improving overall health and treating specific conditions. Cultivation of red reishi originated in Gunmaken, Japan, where the Mayuzumi family invented the technique of culturing red reishi on Japanese oak logs. We have invited Japan's foremost reishi cultivator, Mr. Mayuzumi, to describe the intricate process involved in growing and harvesting the highest quality red reishi. A good quality red reishi plant is distinguished by its large size, thick cap, and overall weight. This specimen is an excellent example of a high quality red reishi mushroom. In contrast, this smaller sized red reishi plant with a thin cap and lighter weight is of inferior quality. There are three methods of cultivating the red reishi mushroom using wood pulp, wood box, and wood log. For wood pulp cultivation, wood pulp is placed in a glass bottle and the red reishi fungi are added. After three months, this growing method yields small and low quality mushrooms. The second method, wood box cultivation, involves grafting the fungi into a wooden log which is placed in a wooden box. 
After about six months, medium-sized and moderate quality red reishi is produced. Lastly, the natural wood log cultivation is the most complex method, but results in the cultivation of superior large size red reishi. This process begins with high quality red reishi fungi strain cultured in test tubes for about 85 days. The germinating fungi are then inserted into drilled holes of selected high grade logs that age between 26 to 30 years old. These logs are then placed in the greenhouse and buried under rich soil for five months. During the growing period, the red reishi fungi absorb many nutrients from the soil. As a result, after five years of use, the soil must lay dormant for two to three years to allow soil nutrient replenishment before being used again. Growing conditions require continual monitoring to ensure a high quality red reishi harvest. Temperature, humidity, carbon dioxide, light intensity, and nutrients are all closely monitored to maintain optimum growth conditions. The greenhouse is sprayed with moisture daily to stimulate growth and maintain a humidity of 90 to 95 percent. This sprayed moisture is sanitized to prevent the reishi from being eroded by bacteria. We are committed to safe agricultural techniques and abstain from the use of exotic pesticides. Furthermore, we rely upon natural selection to cull weaker plants, leaving only the strongest, highest quality red reishi to survive for use in our harvest. The plants are grown for another 100 days until they mature to their full size. The spraying is stopped as the mushrooms release their spores into the air. The red reishi will grow for another two weeks and are then harvested. To prepare red reishi for medicinal use, the mushrooms are cut into small pieces and boiled for two hours. This process is repeated three times until all the medicinal extract is successfully removed. The medicinal extract is prepared using a low temperature vacuum condenser and an air sprayed dryer to transform from concentrated liquid into a powdered state for transfer into capsules. Ambient temperature and moisture are strictly controlled during the drying process to maintain medical effectiveness. Our in-depth research has shown that the medical effectiveness of red reishi is strongest when the plant is fully mature, a state that is almost impossible to find in the wild. Throughout my personal experience cultivating red reishi for more than 30 years, my mission has been to grow the best quality red reishi in Japan and introduce its benefits to as many people around the world as possible. I am also proud that my family's 70 plus year history in cultivating fungi plants has helped us discover the most beneficial way of germinating and harvesting some of the most potent and medically effective red reishi mushrooms in the world.